Hello, I'm Linda Hecker. This is Steve Getty, we're members of the Newark Symphony Orchestra Horn Section. We want to tell you a little bit about why the horn points backwards instead of forwards. To start that, let's go into some history. Humans in the beginning of time needed to get in touch with each other, either for traveling as they moved from one area to another for food or for hunting. So they used something simple like this. Let's hear that. So it's loud, but it's not very expressive. As we moved on, we used other types of instruments to make noise. Let's look at the hose. <laughs> this gives us a little bit more capability. It's longer, and it gives us other parts of the harmonic series. And you can see we've got a funnel on there to help uh, engineer the sound a little more. How long is that if we stretch it apart? Find out. Ooh, quite a bit. We could almost jump rope with this. <laughs> Might be a better, it might be a more suitable use for it. <laughs> Could be. We evolved even further from the hose by using metal, which gave us more capabilities, better in weather, lasts longer, and we can make it a little bit longer. Here are some small examples of metal horns. The one on the left here is called a post horn. It is used to announce when the mail arrives, the post. example of a natural horn. Notice that there are no valves on this. That's why it's called natural. It's all just a coiled piece of metal with a nice bell. And you can, if with your hand, you can do clever things that, that allow you to play mode notes that aren't part of the natural harmonic series of the instrument, too. Let's hear that. So position that we see in an orchestra. Pointing backwards. Pointing <laughs> backwards. One of the other things that this did for us was to help when we were on horseback and we were in the middle of a hunt and communicated through the horn, keep that noise away from the horse's head and his ears. So this way we can communicate with our fellow riders that are behind us to let them know which way the fox may be going but not upset the horse at the same time. I think my, uh, my playing might upset the horse no matter what, but <laughs> it could happen. Right. So let's do one more example of our current orchestral horn. And here we see, again, that coiled up tubing, all of the metal, We've got the valves this time, which allow us to put in those half steps in a scale. It makes it easier to play a variety of music through a large range. <laughs> so that does it. That's why it points backwards, to help 
signal to the other people that we're trying to communicate with, whether it's the orchestra, whether it's somebody else on our hunting party, whether it's somebody to announce that their mail is here. <gasps> oh, you want to hear a little bit of, uh, of the uh, Labasque? Oh yeah, do the Basque. Do the Basque. I gotta go grab that. Let's do that. Let's go off of camera for just a moment. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's call it.